Question seven then from the 2022 mechanics paper. Just a wee three mark question here for carry out an integration by parts. Use integration by parts to find this. Now, it just comes from the product rule for differentiation in reverse. And the first stage is identify which expression you want to integrate and which one you want to differentiate. Making the one you're going to differentiate the one that will simplify. Because what happens is you replace this integral with another integral, which for it to be effective would have to be simpler than it. So in the second integral, choose whichever expression would differentiate down to something simpler. Well, that wouldn't, but that would. So differentiate that one and integrate that one. Then you start the process. So integrate first. So leave that one alone, because that's what's going to get used in that integral to simplify it and integrate this. Now, when you do integrate that, just keep it to itself. Don't start simplifying it with this because you want to move that whole thing into the second integral. Well, sine goes back to cos, but unfortunately, negative cos. And since it's a function of a function, you've got the chain rule. Inner derivatives three, divide by that three, so that's negative a third. You just leave that there. It might be tempting just to go, oh, well, that, that goes in six, just leave it. Because I want to transfer that in its entirety here. So on this part, differentiating this, well, 18x would just go to 18. See, that's why it worked. And then tra transfer that in its entirety. So that's what you get. So that's the pattern then for integration by parts. Now, there's two marks for this. One for making the correct decision about which one to integrate and which one to differentiate and starting it off. And then one for finishing it off. Now it's just a case of tidy it up and do it. There's only one mark left. So now we can do that as negative six. Negative six X cos three X. I can take that out. That's a plus and that's a six times the integral of, or if you're brave, you could just do it in one go and pop it in there and that would be it done. Uh, cos 3x, I suppose doing that would save this having to wait. So that would then, cos would go back to sine of whatever it's operating on, the 3x, divided by the inner derivative, which is 3. So dividing by 3 makes that a plus 2. And don't forget, plus c. And that's about it. There's not a lot you can do to tidy up. You could rearrange it slightly. I could put that one second so I don't have a little negative poking out at the front. That would save one sign because I wouldn't have to put the plus at the front. You could take it a common factor of two, but then you'd have to put down more symbols. You'd have to put in brackets. And then a three would still appear there. So that would probably do it.